We can carry on with section 8.3, um, 3D shapes, coordinates and graphs, that sort of thing, but focusing more on graphs. Now, this is not a graphical question, but it's a lovely question, and this is located on page 114, one of the problem solving questions. And this is question 10, I'm going to do 10 and 11 in this video, then look at the assess. And it says a polygon with n number of sides, so n sides, so I don't know if it's a pentagon, five sides, hexagon, six sides, etc. Anyway, it has this many diagonals. So it's n bracket, n minus three, close bracket, all divided by two. How many sides, in other words, I've got to work out the n, does a polygon with 35 diagonals have? Well, if this expression is about the number of diagonals, then this must come to 35. And my job is to uh, reorganize this and rearrange it to find an equation from which we can get n. So I'm sure I've done this before, let's just take a look. So essentially, the number of sides multiplied by the number of sides minus 3, divided by 2, all comes to 35. Okay, take 2 over and multiply, n bracket n minus 3 equals 70. Multiply out the bracket, n squared minus 3n equals 70. Bring the 70 over, form a quadratic equation um, with equal to 0. Now we can factorise it as follows. Nothing to do with graphs at all. Let's see if I can do this with my head. Um, I'm sure it can be done easily. Yeah, 10, 7. So n and n, 10 and 7. 7 times 7 makes 70, and 7 and 10 will give you a difference of 3. So that will give me minus 3 n's, and that will give me, um, yeah, that will give you a total of minus 3 n's. So let's just check it. n squared minus 10 n. Uh, plus 7n takes me up to minus 3n, and 7 times minus 10 is minus 70. That's perfectly correct. So I've got n plus 7 is 0. Therefore, the number of sides is minus 7. Therefore, you have to ignore this one, because you can't have a negative number of sides. So here I have n minus 10 equals 0, from which n equals 10. Therefore, 10 sides, and that makes the shape a decagon doesn't ask you to name it, but there it is, it's straightforward, not very difficult to solve that problem, we've done quadratics before, and there they are, and what's why they can be factorised quite easily, that one, and it requires the use of any other technique, so that's question 10 done, question 11 also involves forming a quadratic, now, a farmer has 7 metres of fencing, with which to enclose 3 sides of a rectangular sheet pen, the 4th side is a wall, Okay, so this is my wall up against the barn, say, and his fencing go like that, like that, and like that. And I know this part all comes to 70 metres. And the area of the pen comes to 600 metres squared. And the question is, if the area is 600 metres square, find the length of the shorter sides. Well, if these are the shorter sides, let's just call them X, like that. And that means the remaining long side, which is here, must be 70 metres minus these two x's. All right? So x uh, and x makes 2x, and the whole thing comes to 70. Therefore, the longest side must be 70 minus 2x. And look, I can form a straightforward equation here. So let's just do that quickly. I've got x multiplied by 70 minus 2x comes to 600. <coughs> Multiplying out, 70x minus 2x squared equals 600. Bring the minus 2 over, uh, the minus 2x squared over rather, and adding, I've got 70x equals 2x squared plus 600. Bringing over the um, 70x's, altogether I have 2x squared, subtract the 70x's, plus my 600, leaves me with 0. All right. Dividing through by 2 to find a more simplified quadratic, I have x squared minus 35x plus 300 all comes to 0, because 0 divided by 2 is still 0. Now, I know that can be factorised quite well, so let me just try and go for that then. So I go x and x. I'm looking for two numbers that multiply to make um, 300, which must also give me a difference of 35, hence the minus 35. Um, let's try, I've worked it out earlier, let's not try anything, yes, 
I've got a 20 and I've got a 15. 15 20s make 300. And two 15s are 30 plus the, plus the naught on the end. Just write it on. 300. They both need to be negative in order to become minus 35 x's. Just multiplying this out to check. x times x is x squared. x times minus 20 is minus 20 x's. Minus 15 times x is another minus 15 x's. Hence, minus 15 x and minus 20 x gives us minus 35 x's. And of course, 15 times 20 is 300. Minus 15 times minus 20 is 300. It's um, totally accurate, so that's good. So that's a, a simple quadratic with um, formed and factorized. Therefore, I have x minus 15 is 0. So x is 15 meters. That's this short side here. But I also have another potential answer. x minus 20 is 0, from which, from which x can be 20 meters. And that can also be this shortest side. So there's two possible answers by, by um, a formal equation using the information they've given us here in question 11. So if this was 15 metres, say, then it'll be 15 multiplied by, just work out quickly, yeah, so if I use the answer of 15 metres across here, there'll be 15 times 40, it give me 600. If I use 20 across here, then it'll be 20 times 30 to give me 600. So these are the two possible answers actually. So therefore, um, the longest side can be, the shortest side could be 15 or 20 meters. And that's the end of section 8.3. Now I did quite a lot of them actually because um, they're rather tricky, especially these ones where you have to form a quadratic and there's no obvious way through it other than to make a quadratic and solve it in the normal way. So definitely beyond grade B, that's for sure. Okay, so I'll stop there and I'll look at the assess in a minute.